G'day Wimbledoners. Uh, well, it's a Saturday night, the rest of the family is asleep, so I thought I'd make a special edition Wimbledon video just for you. I was chatting earlier with my wife about a video that's coming up, uh, the top five Athenian reformists. The reason why I picked that was my 12 Action History class said YouTube just loves lists. My wife said, well, YouTube loves another type of video as well that she'd just heard about called What's in My Bag? So I jumped on YouTube and I looked at a couple of these videos and it looked to me as if you get a relatively attractive person in their bedroom opening a bag and pulling all the stuff out. And I thought, well, I'm a person. So maybe Wimbledoners are interested as to what's in my bag. So let's have a look. Now, I don't have a handbag. I know some of you are very disappointed by that. But I do have a trusty history teacher kind of briefcase thingy. This was given to me uh, by my in-laws for my 25th birthday seven years ago. It's a wanger, I believe, quite stylish, quite chunky. It's expandable when you've got a whole bunch of marking you need to take home and then get a sore neck because you really shouldn't have carried that much weight. Uh, it's also got a lot of pockets, which can be good and bad, which I'll tell you about in a second. Now we've got on this side, a very nice strap, which I will often use like so. Actually, that looks weird, like so. On this side we've got this random like, like it's caught in here kind of zipper for a little miniature compartment like you're a superhero which I never ever use. In this side, this is my favourite part of the compartment, you've got like this fancy little padded area for which I keep my laptop, Apple at all stores near you, iPad, and because I'm a bit of a techie. Uh, we have external hard drive for many, many, many photos and videos I take for school. And another hard drive to back up all of the very important documents a history teacher uses. What else we got here? A piece of, well, a piece, a pad of paper for that time when you need to write something down. I've also got <clears throat> some black leather gloves because the other day it was cold. So I wore these gloves and uh, they were warm. And then I got too warm and I put them in my bag. They're country road, made in India, leather at all good country road stores. Let's see what other branding we can get in here. Ah, oh, yes. Trusty little iPhone stand. You put your little iPhone in there and, uh, and it can film or be held. Very nifty, very cool, use it in class. Sometimes, should use it more. I have a random green folder with someone's written, Mr. Wimble, Ancient History, due 8.45 a.m. Sorry, whoever that is, I seem to have put your folder in my bag and forgotten all about it. <sighs> Marking, which will be done, hopefully tomorrow, so I can give it to my legal studies class on Monday. Um, veritable reading, everyday life in classical Greece, which is very exciting, let me tell you. We've got some music, sheet music, uh, because I am a part of the school a cappella group, something you would know if you'd seen my Pitch Perfect audition tape. <clears throat> oh yes, trusty stylish, paper by 53. Really enjoy this app, it's great stuff. Uh, and this is kind of like a, a really fancy stylus you can use to draw and, and smudge pen, pencils, kind of, and, and color in. I used it for the uh, for my logo, which is very exciting, I'm sure, for all of you. Little handy USB to iPhone connector, an iPad connector, can't do without that. What else have we got here? Some iPhone headphones. Sold at all Apple stores. Just look it up. Uh, we have a whistle. I'm pretty sure this was given to me by the PE department when I had to do a casual 
uh, kind of lesson. So they gave me my own whistle, which I'm very, very happy with. I obviously put it in my pocket uh, of my bag and I'm not sure I've ever taken it out until now. We have a name badge for parent-teacher nights so I don't get them lost. And here we go, school key. Very exciting, very exciting. This little thing is, a, is an electronic key. And so it can tell you exactly what doors you're allowed to open at school, which is very fancy. And it's so fancy, it costs a hundred bucks to replace. And I know this because I lost this key. Couldn't find it for money or quid. Searched for it for about a month, looking through every school, classroom, in my car, in other people's cars. I went to my parents' house, searched everywhere there because I've been there recently. Searched every nook and cranny of my house. And I said to about 50 people, the second I buy a new one for a hundred bucks, I'm gonna find the old one. And then <clears throat> I slammed my hundred dollars down and got a new key. And about a week later, I found it. You know where I found it? I found it in the random secret compartment that I never use. But apparently, once did without thinking, and I've been carrying my key around with me the whole time. Humorous Wimbledon story. So <clears throat> that's what's in my bag. I hope I've done that right. If I've missed anything, please feel free to uh, comment below, and I'll make sure I do another one just so that you feel like you're wanted uh, as, as a viewer of my channel. So. Hopefully you've enjoyed your Wimbledon study break video. Now get back to study. Those exams won't write themselves. Oh, and don't forget to click like and subscribe. Watson, Watson, Watson.